Hey, I'm Espen Croft, thanks for watching. Occasionally, there comes a program along, a piece of software, that you really can't live without, a real game changer for your workflow. And Rewind from Monkey C is just such a program. And I don't say that lightly, you should know me by now. And even if they paid me to do this video, I found that I no longer can work without this program installed on my computers. And today I'm going to show you why. Rewind is an instant time traveling machine, a retrospective recorder that can really save the day. And it can work as a standalone or a plugin inside your DAW. A really elegant way is to have Rewind start up when you start up your computer. So you don't need a door or anything to get going, just start up your computer, Rewind goes into automatic recording mode, and now you can just start playing some synths or whatever and Rewind will record it all. Sometimes this is just what I want, start up the computer, start playing around and see if some magical thing happens. And if it does, Rewind has captured it all. So let's just stop the recording and here's the WAV file. So I can now discard it if I want to, throw it in a bin, or I can save it, export it out as a WAV file. However, Rewind doesn't only record audio, it can record MIDI as well. And again, sometimes I just want to sit around noodling, playing my synths or keyboards without any door going, and then Rewind can be a real force. With Rewind in the background, everything has now been recorded, both audio as well as MIDI. And here's the waveform, the audio, I did four or five takes of this and Rewind recorded everything. And here's the MIDI information as well. I've set up my MIDI in and out so that when I play this MIDI back, it'll play the same synth as I recorded it on. And this MIDI information can also be exported out as a standard MIDI file, a .mid file. I'll get back to that a little bit later when we go into a PC environment. Right now we're in a Mac and I've started up my DAW and Reaper. And I've uh, set up Rewind on the first track and a uh, soft synth on track 2, the OBXD. I'm not recording anything in the door yet, just playing around, messing around and playing uh, mistakes, errors and maybe something good. But as always, since I've started up Rewind, it has recorded everything I've done, both audio and MIDI. So here's the WAV file and down here is the MIDI file. And of course, it also recorded my uh, CCs, my mod wheel action. So now I can listen back to the WAV file and check out if there's something good in there. And if it is, I can drag that part out into the DAW. Either a region uh, within Rewind or everything like I'm doing here. So I just took this out of Rewind and put it into the DAW. And I can do the same with the MIDI information as well. Just zoom in on whatever part of this uh, MIDI recording within Rewind you want and drag that out into the door. I'm going to place it directly on the track that holds the OBXD soft synth so I can hear that playing this back. Again, I'm pasting everything here. And being totally honest, I'm not always having the door in record mode so this can really save the day. So let's head over into a PC environment. I'm using Cubase here and Rewind works exactly the same really. So I have a track with some audio on it and I have some MIDI coming in and Rewind keeps track of everything. 
So while this audio is playing, I'm recording some MIDI notes as well. You can see that coming up in the timeline within Rewind, that MIDI information. And again, sometimes you just don't press record in the DAW, and there's where Rewind can really save the day. So let's pause this and see what we've got. You see the, the yellow MIDI information there? So that's been recorded. And I also have the audio recorded as always. Let's go back to that MIDI. And another way you can do this is you can just drag this MIDI information out into your browser. And that's where you can save it as a standard MIDI file a mid file. Very simple, very easy, and very fast. You don't have to drag it into the door. You can just drag it out into your browser and just save it. And the last thing I wanted to show you is that Rewind works very well as a capturing device for all sorts of sounds you want to uh, take off the internet. Especially since you don't have to faff around with the loopback functions in your sound card, etc. This is very nice, very efficient, and very fast. So this is what we've got. And now I can just export this out as a WAV file and um, use it wherever I want. Well, I admit I'd never even heard of this program until Monkey C contacted me and wanted me to try it out. And I have to say that I've learned that among others, Hollywood movie composers has really taken to it, and they use it a lot. And I can really see why, in my brief period with the program, I've really come to love it, and now it's installed on all of my computers. I have it on my templates for my different DAWs, which I use, and both on the Macs and the PCs, and it's here to stay. So I definitely think you should check out the video description for links and more information about the program and see if it's something you can benefit from in your workflow. So uh, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!